Afternoon boys and girls, it's your boy Davis here, back with another video for the channel. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas, I know I certainly did. You're going to be seeing a lot of new gifts I got from family, from the gorgeous missus coming up in recent video. Well, coming up in future videos, so what am I even saying? But anyway, it is the most important day of the season for Southend. When you see those new fixtures every season, you look straight for one thing, and that's Derby days. And we have got one today. We have got at home versus Colchester. Gotta say, after what happened earlier in the season against Colchester, I'm begging we get a win. If Colchester managed to nick it today, they could see themselves up in the promotion places. If we win today, we could see ourselves escape the bottom two. Very two different stories for two different clubs this season. Gotta say, though, the formation today, well, sorry, the squad is a bit mixed and managed today. We've got no Alan McCormack and no James Olienka because Arsenal can't pull their finger out and get him fixed up, but hey, oh well. So we see the return of Sam Hart start at 11, John White, who else? We've got Carl Taylor starts as well, and Ashley Nathaniel George is in there. Gotta say, the breaking up of Dieng and Hobson at the back is going to be really, really costly for us, I feel. John White, great player, but we've got two centre-backs that are on perfect chemistry, and we've just had to split them up now, so it's a bit, mm, bit shaky almost. But... It's good to see Sim Akinola getting the start. I've got to say, we've got Greg Halford on the bench, who, as we've seen, came on after hours after signing, scored a bloody winner for us. Well, not a winner, scored a goal for us, you know? So it's brilliant to see that sort of stuff. And we made a... Uh, uh, get my words out. We made a signing earlier today in Louis Walsh. No, not the X-Factor bloke. Don't get that confused, anyone. We've signed as a winger, previously played for Nottingham Forest and Barnsley. Great to see. Might be a quality signing, 18-month deal. Let's see how it goes today with him. But that's not important today. What is important is we pick up the dub, bring the W home, and get these points and get out of these bottom two. Come on, you blues, let's do it. What a play by the boys there. Timmy Dieng already starting off the game more for, further forward than expected. Made a charge into the box off a pass from Sam Hart. Hart receives the ball back and earns a corner there for the Blues. Great start for the boys here. Haven't let Colchester really at any chance here. Five minutes on the clock as well. Got to say, good start, good start. Dimitri here to whip in. Got his hands up in there as usual. He wants that high five. He does it every week. He doesn't get the high five back. You know what? I'm feeling a bit sad for him this week. Dimitri standing tall. Going for the run. Sends the ball in high to Towards the back post, onto the head, I think Hobson, into the box, caught by Gherkin. What a name, Gherkin. Free kick for the Blues here, after Sam Hart was brought down on the edge of the box there. Dimitri and Hart to both stand over it. Mr Gherkin in goal, trying to wave his defenders back. I don't think they're actually listening. He's trying to yell at them, he's not getting through to them. Sam Hart and Dimitri over the board. Go on, Hart, fucking score it, please. Hart to whip it into the box. On the head! Who's got Sim! Sim Akinola scored! Big Sim has put in first goal for Selfen of the game. And Sim Akinola's first goal for Selfen. What a ledge! We are 1 0 up. Nine minutes in on the clock. Holy shit, yes! Great ball in by Sam Hart. I can't give all the credit to Akinola there, but great ball from Sam Hart. Just so like calmly whipped. And what a curl on it. Into Sim. He's unmarked. Bang! Off the head. What are you saying? Christmas Day. Up, big Sim. Sim. Sim is a ledge. 1 0 to the Blues here. Let's go. Come on. Colchester are absolutely shite so far. They're giving the ball away. ANG was running into the box then to slot it home, but it was blocked luckily by their defender. They have word out to the edge of the box now. Blues trying to find their way in, but now Colchester have cleared. But fuck me, it's 15 minutes in and we're looking, like I said, like Barcelona, Real Madrid sort of style here. What is going on? 21 minutes on the clock here. Got to say, Blues have been all over Colchester. They've had little to nothing. They've just had a corner, Colchester, which just ended up as nothing almost. Like, we've been firmly in control of this game. Like, two, like, really good. It's so surprising to see considering our start to the season. But Blues do pick up the ball here in midfield with Carter. He is sprinting through. He's gone through four players. Taylor looking for the shot. Plays Dieng. Dieng shoots. Dieng scores. Dieng has scored. 2-0. Timmy Dieng has scored he loves the travels he drinks the champagne he has scored 2-0 south end in the Essex derby what a fucking play god look at the team going over to celebrate you can see the passion the character is there oh my Carl Taylor Carl Taylor you deserve the credit there he nuts two of them went through two of them played it into Dieng who split the defenders apart and puts it in the corner 2-0 for, when was the last time we were 2-0 up within 30 minutes, I think it's, or 20, even 25? Like, this is nuts. What? Timmy Dieng, he is one of our own, he hates Cole U. Come on! 
Oh, Jesus. Colchester nearly got one back there. Poku played a lovely ball in there to the Colchester number 10, Brown, who spun Hobson on the turn but put it wide of the left post. Luckily for us there, that should have been a Colchester goal on them back in it. But Sam Hart, more concerningly, has gone down injured over here next to the halfway line after he was turned by the Colchester mid. <laughs> Poku for Colchester just hit the far post. Curling shot. Colchester still with the ball here. Cleared up by Carl, Carl Taylor to the edge of the box. Up to the number four in for Colchester but they have to work there. Poku with a shot from the edge of the box, curling past Oxley off the post. Oh, shit. Colchester starting to come into it a bit more towards the end of the half now. Bit scary to watch, but hey, let's keep going. Blues eventually have cleared the ball here and fouled by the Colchester number 18. Half time, out roots all, Blues 2, Colchester nil. What a first 45 minutes that has been. For the first time in a lot of games, I'm actually feeling confident every time we go forward, Southend look dangerous. Like, whether it be Hart sending in the cross, Carl Taylor weaving through, even Akinola just going for a shot, we look like a much more dangerous team. We are outdoing Colchester so well. We're more direct than them. We're pushing them down at every chance they get in their, like, back four zone. We are all over it. At least three players trying to close down one player. It is great to see. It's what team's been doing to us for seasons. We're giving back to them. It's like, you know what? We know you can't control the ball. We know you can't get out and do anything like that. We're going to close you right down because we know we're just going to win it and go for an attack. It is great stuff to see. Akinola with his first goal as well. Great, great stuff to see. Dieng, first goal of the season for him. Love the celebration as well. Got to say, little Ronaldo Jr. in there. Hopefully, we continue this into the second half. Maybe take off Akinola for Halford. Just for a bit more physical presence. Just to bring in a bit of like the old derby. Just hit them hard. Get them where it hurts. Hopefully, more to come from what we've seen in the first half, though. But look, like I've said, it is great to see us looking like a great team going forward. Even at the back, we're looking good. Sean Hobson doing the basics so well. Just taking no nonsense. Just ball comes to him straight out into the... For a throw in or back down the field. He's not having any of it. Great to see him like progress since the beginning of the season. But like I said, hopefully more to come in the second half here. Come on, you blues. Let's bring these three points and defeat the scam. Free kick to Colchester. Out by the corner flag after some sloppy defending, I should say, from Jason Dimitru there. Not really making great challenges at all and just gave away a silly free kick in a dangerous position here. One man wall into Terrell Eggbury. Ball is whipped high towards the back post. Oxley claims it. Great stuff, Oxley. I haven't been troubled too much this afternoon, but when you have, you've done bits. 80 on the clock here. Greg Halford coming on against his former club, Colchester, for the first time in 14 years. He's going up front with Big Aqua, so I can only see us trying to ping the ball in. Now, whoa, oosh, as I was saying that, Eggbury picked up the ball in the middle. Loose ball, had a shot, and it was just blocked by the Colchester defender. Otherwise, that was going straight in. Goalkeeper did not even bother moving then. Just as I was saying that, Halford has come on for Carl Taylor here. But what a bloody shot there by Eggbury. That nearly went in. Aqua dummied it for him, and then... Damn, corner coming up for the Blues here though. Come on, Alfred, stick one in against your old club. Corner for Colchester here. Five minutes left on the clock. Ball whipped in with pace, cleared out though, and smacked over by the number four on the edge of the box. He looks like a bimbo. Is that what they all look like from Colchester? I think they do. They've got only got four fingers, I swear. Nathaniel George, please, off to the end. No, <laughs> Dion Skyder. Nathaniel George did the fullback there on the byline. Played it out to Timmy Yang. He had about four options in the box. Played to Diang, and Diang got his foot under it, and it went for a conversion, three points, and all that. Third sub here for the Blues. He's actually Nathaniel George Goff. I've got to say, he's looked really sharp this game, all over the place, causing trouble, being a little pacey skiller that he is out on the wing. And we brought on Rob Howard instead. For, I think it's only his third professional like game. It's great to see that we're investing in that. He looks like he's playing as like a right mid sort of role. I've heard he's a right back, but hey, let's see what he can do for the final couple of minutes here. Oh, it's kicking off here. It's kicking off here in the last few seconds. Four minutes out of the five played. It's, the camera's just turned away. But apparently, there has been a nasty challenge off the ball there. The number six for Colchester is ripping Terrell Egbury out of that situation. He's actually leaning over a lot of plays to get in someone's face. I don't know what the challenge was or what it was for. I'm hoping they're going to show the replay. But fuck me, there is a lot of players surrounding each other. There's at least ten in there. Everyone is here. John White is being spoken to. Everyone's been pushed away. What's going on here? Who's being called over? Oxley is up by the halfway line. What is going on here? This is handbags all over the field. Number four is pulled over. For Hobson is booked. And the number four for Colchester is booked. So no red cards? Really? It's an Essex derby. We ought to see at least a red card. Hopefully for Colchester. But hey, 
Mark Oxley standing over the ball here, getting ready to smack. This has to be the foul kick. We're already two minutes over what was predicted added time. Oxley lines it up, sends a banger down the field. Ref hasn't blown it yet. What, why have you not? But now he has blown it. What a fucking result for us. Beaten the local rivals, the team that were in Tev that could have gone to playoff places. And guess what? You have a boys. We are out. We are off the foot of the table for now. Depending on results coming up. I know Scumfort were currently losing 3-2. So this might see us actually pop out and Scumfort and Stevenage slot into the bottom. But what a bloody result. Reveal will be coming shortly. Mark Mosley is on the pitch beaming right now. Right, all, is the review of that magnificent showing from the boys there against the scum. Gotta say, 2-0 victory, furry, thoroughly deserved. Colchester fans, if any of you are watching through this, I've got to say, what are your points? I just thought you guys never really got off the gears, really. You had a few good chances, I have to give you that, but apart from that, there was nothing. You just made silly mistakes. I heard on the radio throughout the talk that you like to do the passing out from the back, which we tried, but obviously, you just got to be reminded the Kings of Essex are, eh? you know, 6-1 against in the Pissy Cup. Nah, that's nothing. Let's just get back to the league stuff, and we are champs again. Great to see that Kings of Essex over here. But no, man of the match today has to go to Sean Hobson and arguably John White as well. That centre-back combo. Yet again, the centre-back's doing better. And Sean Hobson is involved in it yet again. Potentially, I'd start thinking of getting him in on like a permanent deal. He's only here for a year until the end of the season. So I would probably think about now getting him in on permanent. Because let's say the last eight or so games, he has been absolute quality. No one can argue he has been top game. Akinola as well, first goal for the club. Great to see that big sim getting the goal. But like I said, he, had, he didn't have many chances throughout the end but the ones he did he took really well on us the whole team really deserves praise from it all another clean sheet thanks to the defense and especially mark oxley we're only 15 points off the playoffs now this is easily could like we could easily get there now but you think about it, we might be on a bit of a high at the minute but we could easily do this year this could be but as the table stands right now at half past three in the afternoon, we are currently sat in 23rd. We are off the foot of the table for the first time since the beginning of the Football League, the opening day. We are off the foot. Steve is now occupy that position. We are one point behind Barrow at the minute. I believe Barrow are not playing today, but we have got them coming up in a couple of weeks, so that will be definitely a game to watch. That could easily get us off the bottom, well, out of the bottom too, sorry, not the foot of the table. God, I got used to not saying that anymore. But on to Tuesday night, on to Leighton Orin, or as we like to call them, Borian. Great stuff to see there. But I hope you've all made it to the end of this video right here. I'm going to wrap this up now. I hope you've enjoyed the Essex Derby vlog. I know I have for a certain god. Kings of Essex feels great to say that again. But I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that lovely stuff down below. And if you're a new face around here, make sure you put it in the comments and say, hello, I'm a new face around here. I'll be lovely to see you. Anyway, my name's been Diversity, and it goes like Peace.